A California judge has ruled Apple must allow other forms of in-app purchases. The decision came in a closely watched trial between Apple and Epic Games Friday. She ordered a permanent injunction in which Apple will no longer be allowed to stop developers from providing links or other communications that direct users away from Apple in-app purchasing. Apple responded to the ruling, saying in part, quote, today the court has affirmed what we've known all along. The App Store is not in violation of antitrust law. As the court recognized, success is not illegal. Epic Games CEO and founder Tim Sweeney responded, saying, quote, today's ruling isn't a win for developers or for consumers. Epic is fighting for fair competition among in-app payment methods and app stores for a billion consumers. Epic Games is best known as the maker of Fortnite. For more on this, I want to bring in CBSN tech reporter Dan Patterson. Hi, Dan. Great to see you. So for people who haven't been following this case very closely, those two statements seem to contradict each other. Who is this ruling a win for? Hey, Tanya, it's good to see you. So uh, this was a uh, staggering loss for Apple as well as a broad and sweeping victory. They actually won nine of the 10 counts uh, here, except the one that maybe kind of mattered. Uh, Judge Yvonne uh, uh, Gonzalez Rogers said that Apple cannot prohibit app developers from linking out from their apps, providing additional context, uh, additional payment systems, and uh, from communicating directly with their customers. Now, this is huge. If you've ever, at least until very recently, tried to maybe sign up for Netflix or Spotify from within the iOS app, you notice that there wasn't even a link to their website. Well, this is why, and this changes that. So what is Epic Games CEO still upset about? Uh, well, look, there are a lot of requests in this lawsuit. Uh, if everything had gone Epic's way, and not to mention uh, Spotify and a number of other large app developers, as well as third-party developers, if things had gone their way, we might have seen a, a vast overhaul of iOS. That's not what's happening here. What they wanted was uh, maybe the ability to install other apps, uh, other app stores mm -hmm. on the iPhone. Their argument was, hey, look, uh, you know, you can install an app store on your Mac computer, on your Windows computer. Why can't you do the same on your phone? Um, so there could have been a, a lot of things that had gone Epic's way. However, this is one win for a number of developers who aren't just Epic, uh, but were also kind of had some skin in the game here. Right. All right. So, Dan, how will the judge's decision affect consumers? Well, uh, look, what this really means is that there is a greater potential for the apps you use on a regular basis and the developers behind those apps to have a closer relationship with you. Uh, this may sound kind of silly, but it really means that those apps can talk to you on email or text message. They can put information into their apps. It could provide you with greater context. And this really, when we're talking about the scale of the App Store, has a potential to impact lots of not just developers, but also consumers consumers who do everything from uh, banking to communicating with loved ones, really criti uh, critical things we use our phone for. And those app developers be able, uh, being able to communicate and uh, use payment mechanisms that aren't just Apple's is a really big deal. So what does that mean then now for the app developers? Will they be seeing a lot more revenue from their apps? Uh, developers could see more revenue from the apps, and they could see uh, a longer, more direct relationship with their customers. Again, Apple kind of inserted themselves as the third party here or, or an intermediary and retained a lot of those relationships and those contacts. So it really means a, a, a more robust relationship from everything from, yeah, financial decisions, but also a, a customer relationship stuff that could be pretty important. All right. Well, Dan Patterson, thank you so much for breaking down the judge's ruling for us. We appreciate it. It's great to see you.